Hey friends, welcome to STANGOZ World Family. Subscribe comment like and share we upload new video daily. First of all what is food poisoning? Now listen pay attention to this video till the end. Foodborne illness, more commonly referred to as food poisoning, is the result of eating contaminated, spoiled, or toxic food. The most common symptoms of food poisoning include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Although it's quite uncomfortable, food poisoning isn't unusual. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, trusted source, one in six citizens of one country will contract food poison some form of food poisoning every year. Here are some tips to help you reduce your risk of food poisoning at home. 1. Wash your hands Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water, warm or cold, and dry them before handling food, after handling raw food, including meat, fish, eggs and vegetables, and after touching the bin, going to the toilet, blowing your nose or touching animals, including pets. See more hand washing tips. 2. Wash worktops Wash worktops before and after preparing food, particularly after they've been touched by raw meat, including poultry, raw eggs, fish and vegetables. You don't need to use antibacterial sprays, hot, soapy water is fine. 3. Wash dishcloths Wash dishcloths and tea towels regularly, and let them dry before you use them again. Dirty, damp cloths are the perfect place for germs to spread. 4. Use separate chopping boards Separate chopping board to prepare raw food, such as meat and fish. This is to avoid contaminating ready-to-eat foods with harmful bacteria that can be present in raw food before it has been cooked. 5. Keep raw meat separate It's especially important to keep raw meat away from ready-to-eat foods, such as salad, fruit and bread. This is because these foods won't be cooked before you eat them, so any bacteria that get onto the foods from the raw meat won't be killed. 6. Store raw meat on the bottom shelf Always cover raw meat and store it on the bottom shelf of the fridge, where it can't touch or drip onto other foods. 7. Cook food thoroughly Make sure poultry, pork, burgers, sausages and kebabs are cooked until steaming hot, with no pink meat inside. Don't wash raw meat, including chicken and turkey, before cooking, as this can spread bacteria around your kitchen. Freezing raw chicken reduces the levels of Campylobacter bacteria but doesn't eliminate them completely. The safest way to kill all traces of Campylobacter is by cooking chicken thoroughly. 8. Keep your fridge below 5 C. Keep your fridge temperature below 5 C and use a fridge thermometer to check it. This prevents harmful germs from growing and multiplying. Avoid overfilling your fridge, if it's too full, air can't circulate properly, which can affect the overall temperature. 9. Cool leftovers quickly If you have cooked food that you're not going to eat straight away, cool it as quickly as possible, within 90 minutes, and store it in the fridge or freezer. Use any leftovers from the fridge within 2 days. 10. Respect, use by dates Don't eat food that's past its use by date, even if it looks and smells okay. Use by dates are based on scientific tests that show how quickly harmful bugs can develop in the packaged food. Signs and symptoms The symptoms of food poisoning usually begin within one to two days of eating contaminated food, although they may start at any point between a few hours and several weeks later. The main symptoms include Feeling sick nausea, vomiting diarrhea, which may contain blood or mucus stomach cramps and abdominal pain a lack of energy and weakness loss of appetite a high temperature, fever, aching muscles chills in most cases, these symptoms will pass in a few days and you will make a full recovery. What to do most people with food poisoning recover at home and don't need any specific treatment, although there are some situations where you should see your GP for advice. Until you feel better, you should rest and drink fluids to prevent dehydration. Try to drink plenty of water, even if you can only sip it. Eat when you feel up to it, but try small, light meals at first and stick to bland foods, such as toast, crackers, bananas and rice, until you begin to feel better. Oral Rehydration Solutions ORS, which are available from pharmacies, are recommended for more vulnerable people, such as the elderly and those with another health condition. Your symptoms are severe, for example, if you're unable to keep down any fluids because you are vomiting repeatedly your symptoms don't start to improve after a few days you have symptoms of severe dehydration, such as confusion, a rapid heartbeat, sunken eyes and passing little or no urine you're pregnant. You're over 60 your baby or young child has suspected food poisoning you have a long-term underlying condition. How is food contaminated? Food can become contaminated at any stage during production, processing or cooking. 
For example, it can be contaminated by not cooking food thoroughly, particularly meat, not correctly storing food that needs to be chilled at below 5 C, leaving cooked food for too long at warm temperatures, not sufficiently reheating previously cooked food, someone who is ill or who has dirty hands touching the food, eating food that has passed its use by date, the spread of bacteria between contaminated foods, cross contamination foods, particularly susceptible to contamination if not handled, stored, or cooked properly, include raw meat and poultry raw eggs raw shellfish unpasteurized milk ready to eat foods such as cooked sliced meats pate soft cheeses and pre-packed sandwicha if you have learned something new today why not like and share this useful information to your friend and subscribe to our channel stay at the bright side of life with stangoz world see you soon